Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my uh, trailer collection. My name is Eve, and today I got 10 trailers in the lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 trailers in a lot, and today it will uh, add up to 120 trailers. So, wow, 120 trailers I have so far in my collection. It's crazy. Um, Alright, so everybody knows the rules, okay? Um, uh, 10 trailers, you all know the rules. So, let's start looking at them. Uh, make it an even five. Make it up here. Alright, so, um, how's everybody doing, by the way? Good? Yeah? Cool. Uh, Alright, first trailer I have here today is Lethal Weapon 4. Lethal Weapon 4. I saw this in the theaters along with uh, the third one, which was in 1992. This was 1998. I uh, don't remember if I saw the second one in the theaters, uh, but I do remember seeing it when I was a kid. Um, but don't know where or how, you know. Um, let me show you the label. So remember when I was telling you about those like Warner Brothers like labels before like you know it was like green and white um, and it changed sometime in the uh, late 90s I think 96 97 but uh, now look at the Warner Brothers uh, labels it's uh, yellow and black pretty cool huh Jet Li's first American movie all right now I have uh, oh another Warner Brothers movie. This is Swordfish from 2001. This is when I was a uh, usher and a concessionist, and we had this movie. It came out uh, June 8th, 2001. Um, it, you know, I loved it when it first came out because I was like, oh, this is great, car chases and action, but it's pretty cheesy. You know, John Travolta like just overacts, and so does Hugh Jackman, but it's still a pretty cool movie. Um, it could have been better. I like the premise though. I thought it was cool. Swordfish. And, you know, this is actually a great trailer. Uh, if you watch this trailer on YouTube, it's pretty cool. Really awesome. I saw this trailer advertise a lot uh, right before the movie came out. And I like the poster, too, the black and white, like, you know, photo shoot type thing. Um, all right, so next one is... Ooh, I have a Spider-Man trailer, but this is uh, a regular trailer with footage, not the Twin Towers. And this is a scope trailer, but it's a flat movie, so what they did was, it's a, a pillar box. So it's going to be black bars on the left and right of the, of the screen. But here's the label. And this is the trailer that features the uh, Planet of the Apes um, trailer music. From the Mark Wahlberg, Look at that. Sony Pictures. Awesome. All right. Uh, next, I have. Oh, that's my phone. Uh, Transformers. Transformers. Uh, 2007. Uh, I ran this on 35, and I ran the IMAX DMR print when they re-released it in September. Uh, to kind of just fill a weekend, you know, because uh, they have a thing called filler movies uh, And it's always like the first week of September first couple weeks uh, Where there's nothing coming out. So they're like, oh, let's re-release this movie in this format because they missed that opportunity when the movie first came out uh, But here's Transformers Good old Michael Bay Transformers. What a classic cornerstone of cinema right here. It says trailer number four, but I remember, I, I remember seeing like three different trailers for it. This is actually a really fun movie. This is the only good Transformers movie, the first one. Alright, what do we have here? Ooh, Hollow Man, 20 years ago. Another Pillar Box trailer. I remember this was my first summer in the movie theater industry 20 years ago, and we had a Hollow Man. Um, I like this movie. Uh, it's not its not a great movie. It's really cheesy. They could have done so much with it, but I like the way it's shot, and I like the movie score, uh, and I like Paul Verhoeven, and plus it came out the first summer I started in the industry. Hollow Man. This is the regular trailer. Yeah, there's a 
kind of a really cool teaser trailer as well. All right, what do we got here? Oh, another long one. This was James Cameron's comeback in 2009. This is Avatar. Uh, this is the really long Avatar trailer, three minutes and 30 seconds. I ran this um, in IMAX 3D, physical film 3D in IMAX. IMAX DMR, not the real IMAX. It was printed on IMAX film, but it wasn't shot with IMAX. That's what that means. Um, here's the trailer. I held on to that. I watched this movie recently. It's it's not that great. It's kind of boring, to be honest. And it wasn't that like impressive like when the first one came out. I mean, the CGI was cool, but um, but it was like whatever. They kind of really hyped it up to be like the next Star Wars, and you know now we're waiting like you know 12 years for another one. It's crazy. Um, all right. Next one I have is a high value trailer um, because it's Marvel. It's part of the MCU, the first phase. I've shown you a few others from the uh, first phase. This is Thor. I think this is the very first trailer for Thor. It's a really good one too. Yeah, the thing, the thing about these labels is that the um, uh, the ink kind of kind of fades. Let's see right there. And it's cool because it says Paramount Pictures, but like these movies came out right after the, you know, Disney bought it, but Paramount already had their contracts, I guess, whatever legalities were in place for, for this, but it's still pretty high valued. Uh, I would say the lowest value trailer of the first phase if you're going to buy 35mm trailers for them. Alright, next one I have is... Ooh. Apparently this came out in 2001, like in December, but very limited, but we had this at Movie Land in 2002, uh, wide release. This is Black Hawk Down. This is one of my favorite, like, kind of battle films. Beautiful looking movie, too. Great score. Yeah, I was kind of obsessed with this movie. My favorite character in this film was, uh... The Eric Bana character, he was awesome. Good old Delt Special Forces. Alright, so I have those eight trailers, now I have two more. This is number nine. Um, this is 1994. Um, 1994. Uh, Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, Sandra Bullock, when she started to get famous. This is Speed. And it's cool, on the Fox label, they wrote a die-hard style action film with Keanu Reeves. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All great trailer. Great movie, too. All right. I mean, I'm on to the last trailer for the evening. This will be 120 trailers so far. This is a very high value trailer. Um, you always uh, expect to pay a lot for it if you find it, if you're collecting, looking. This is Jur Jurassic Park from 1993. This is, I believe, the final trailer. Uh, it's pretty short, but it has footage and stuff. Uh, the label I had to like break to inspect the trailer. You see Jurassic Park, Universal. But yeah, you know, this is a really good trailer, uh, so definitely worth the have because this franchise is still going on, even though they're not very good now, but they're still making money because people just want to see the dinosaurs and they like the brand Jurassic Park, um, but the first two I thought were the best, the third one's alright too, but Jurassic World was pretty bad, <laughs> it was entertaining but it was pretty bad. Um, alright, so that's uh, 10 trailers, uh, which adds up to 120. So tune in next week. Um, uh, please uh, comment in the comment section. You know, if you want to like ask a question or just you know talk about whatever trailers I had here. You know, 
please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see more videos just like this. Alright, so thanks again for watching everybody, and this is an 80s Die Hard production. Later. Bye.